Morning, gents. It's Friday Bacon here, and I just picked up Ghost. Funny story. I didn't even know Ghost was coming out yesterday or today. I totally forgot about it. I was in the whole exams mode. Just was not thinking about it. And I got an email from my brother saying, did you get it? And he's away at the moment. I'm like, what are you, what are you talking about? And it turns out it was Cod Ghost. So anyway, as soon as I heard that, I'm like, screw it. I'm going to buy it. I'm just going to play it for a bit. Even though I'm getting the PS4, I bought the Xbox 360 version. I'm going to sell it when the um, PS4 comes out. Just wanted to check it out. And the first five games or so, I was raging so bad. I just did not like the game. I don't know, it's just, it felt clunky to me, it felt a bit cartoony, um, it was a bit jumpy, but I, you know, I was, and I just kept getting owned, and generally, like, the first time I played Black Ops 2, I was really looking forward to it, and I was, I was impressed, you know, the whole futuristic music and the dubstep, I know that sounds gay, but, I don't know, it gave it this atmosphere, this Cod Ghost, I was just like, mm, what is this, what is this shit, you know? And I was just being outplayed. I wasn't even being outplayed. It was just the gun and the clunky movements just keep screwing me over. But now I've adjusted to the whole thing. And, I, you know, yeah, I've played about, I don't know, 15 games or so. And I'm pretty happy with it. However, I'm feeling I've played 15 games and I'm already kind of getting bored of it. Like, I don't know what to do next, you know, level up, whatever. I've got to try out a lot new, a, a heap more guns. But, um, yeah, my first impressions weren't that great. But now, as I matured with the game, you know, over the last few hours, I'm starting to really enjoy it. Starting to get great scores, going positive, um, you know, getting some nice streaks here and there. Testing everything out, getting used to the guns, you know. It's really good. I'm really enjoying it now. So yeah, I bought it for the Xbox 360, just, you know, it seems to be Xbox has the better game, but I will be migrating over to the PS4, I'm done with Xbox for now, um, yeah, I'll be selling my Xbox soon to fund my PlayStation 4, which I'll be splitting with my brothers. I also need to buy a new recording device, possibly with the PS4, as my Avo Media Game Capture HD does not work with the... Uh, PS4 apparently, you, there's no AV with the PS4 or something ridiculous like that, but um, I'll see when I get it. So yeah, the game overall, it's not bad. Um, as I said, a bit clunky. Um, the auto aim's a bit different and whatnot, but I've got used to it. Um, the, ba the maps seem a bit dull, I will admit. The maps seem a bit dull. And I played that new Alien mode, I totally forgot what it's called, but I enjoyed that. That was good bit of fun. Uh, definitely not as complete as Zombies, but definitely something that people will play into the future. Um, something that got me really mad, unfortunately, about this game was the sniping. Absolute bullshit, some of the sniping. Um, I think my first few games I got into a sniper lobby, and they were just all trick-shotting and quick-scoping, and I'm just like, uh it's these people that destroy the game, and I, I do mi I don't mind going for a snipe or something, but these guys just, their whole team's using it, they're all trying to do spin tricks, and I'm just like, give up. And the thing is, they were good at it, I'll be honest, they were good at it, and they were owning everyone, and it's just, you know, I won't be surprised if they start nerfing the snipers, and I'll kind of be happy if they do. Because it's really taking over this game. I know a lot of people buy this game for the sniping, but... You know, if you're a sniper, I would want a challenge. I would want a challenge, that's right. I'd want sniping to be hard so you stand out from everyone else. You're making all your videos and stuff. Take it back to the, how it was Black Ops 1. Not, not as Black Ops 1 came out, but Black Ops 1 as it was ending. Take it back to that. You know, you get a lot of hit markers, but when you kill someone one shot, it's very rewarding. And, you know, you don't scope in so quickly, and you can't just quick scope. You've got to kind of... There's a bit of a skill to it. Anyway, that's my little rant about sniping. Um, the game modes? There were a lot of new game modes, but they seem boring already. I've played a few, um, and yeah... Really, 
kind of bored of them already. Need some new game modes, but I've I've been relying on Team Deathmatch a bit, but I've been working my way around to different game modes. Um, I can't name them all, but there's some really uh, fun ones. Forgot what it's called, but the one where you uh, it's kind of like Drop Zone, except you get weapons from it, and it's like a bare bones, but you kind of work your way up in guns, and it's really scarce for ammo and holding down these areas. I, th I found that really good. I could dominate in that, and yeah. Anyway, um, I'm going to be uploading a lot more Call of Duty Vo uh, Ghost sorry, videos very soon, so I'll cap it at that. The gameplay goes to longer, but I'll just cap it at that. So anyway, see you guys.